Welcome to the global defense battle. The M16A4 is an American assault rifle developed from the earlier M16 models. It was designed by Eugene Stoner of Armalite Incorporated in the late 1950s and later manufactured by companies like Colt and F. and Herstal. The M16A4 is the fourth generation of the M16 series, featuring a removable carrying handle and Picatinny rail for mounting optics and other devices. It was adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps in 1997. The rifle was developed to provide a lightweight, accurate, and reliable weapon for infantry use. On the other hand, the AK-47 is a Soviet assault rifle designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov in 1947. Manufactured by Kalashnikov Concern and various other producers, it became the standard issue rifle of the Soviet Army in 1949. The AK-47 was developed to create a simple, reliable, and easy-to-produce automatic rifle for Soviet forces. Its predecessor was the AK-46, an earlier prototype by Kalashnikov. And today we will compare both of these assault rifles, America's M16A4 versus Russia's AK-47. So let's start. Talking about the design first, the M16A4 features a modular design with a detachable carrying handle and a Picatinny rail system, allowing for various attachments like scopes and grips. It utilizes lightweight materials such as aluminum and synthetic polymers, contributing to its reduced weight. The rifle measures approximately 39 inches in length with a 20-inch barrel and weighs around 3.6 kilograms when loaded with a 30-round magazine. Its straight-line stock design helps manage recoil, enhancing accuracy during rapid fire. In contrast, the AK-47 is renowned for its simplicity and durability. It employs a gas-operated, rotating bolt system and is constructed with a combination of wood and stamped steel, making it robust and easy to produce. The AK-47 has an overall length of about 34 inches and a barrel length of 16.3 inches. When loaded with a 30-round magazine, it weighs approximately 4.78 kilograms. The rifle's curved magazine design aids in reliable ammunition feeding, and its loose tolerances allow it to function effectively in harsh conditions. Regarding caliber and performance, the M16A4 uses the 5.56 into 45mm NATO cartridge, which is lighter and travels at a higher velocity compared to the AK-47's 7.62 into 39mm round. This results in flatter trajectories and potentially greater accuracy at longer ranges. However, the smaller caliber may have less stopping power, meaning it might require more hits to incapacitate a target. In contrast, the AK-47's larger 7.62mm round delivers more energy upon impact, providing greater stopping power, but its heavier weight and lower velocity can lead to a more pronounced bullet drop over distance, affecting long-range accuracy. Regarding barrel length, the M16A4 features a 20-inch barrel, while the AK-47 has a shorter 16.3-inch barrel. A longer barrel generally allows the bullet to achieve higher velocity before leaving the muzzle, which can enhance accuracy and effective range. Therefore, the M16A4's longer barrel contributes to its superior performance at extended distances compared to the AK-47. And about ergonomics, the M16A4 is often considered more comfortable to handle due to its design features. It has a straight-line stock that reduces muzzle rise during firing, a pistol grip that offers better control, and a more accessible safety selector switch. Additionally, the M16A4's adjustable sights and compatibility with various attachments enhance its adaptability to different combat scenarios. The AK-47, while praised for its simplicity and durability, has a more traditional stock design and a safety lever that can be less intuitive to operate quickly. Its iron sights are also less refined, which can affect aiming precision. Regarding magazine capacity, for the M16A4, Available magazines range from 20-round to 100-round drum magazines. Similarly, the AK-47 supports 10, 20, and 40-round box magazines, as well as 75-round drum magazines. The M16A4 has a cyclic rate of 700-950 rounds per minute, while the AK-47 cyclic rate is approximately 600 rounds per minute. The higher rate of fire of the M16A4 allows for more rounds to be fired in a shorter period 
which can be advantageous in situations requiring rapid suppression of targets. However, this increased rate can lead to quicker overheating and higher ammunition consumption. The AK-47's slower rate of fire contributes to its reputation for reliability and controlled firing, making it suitable for sustained engagements. Regarding gas systems, the M16A4 utilizes a direct impingement system, where gas is funneled directly from the barrel to the bolt carrier to cycle the action. This design contributes to the rifle's lighter weight and reduced recoil, but can lead to increased fouling, necessitating regular maintenance to ensure reliability. In contrast, the AK-47 employs a long-stroke gas piston system, where gas drives a piston connected to the bolt carrier. This system is renowned for its robustness and ability to function under adverse conditions, as it reduces fouling in the action and enhances reliability, though it may result in slightly increased recoil. Coming to the range and accuracy, the M16A4 has an effective range of approximately 460 meters, while the AK-47's effective range is about 350 meters. This means the M16A4 can accurately engage targets at longer distances compared to the AK-47. In terms of accuracy, the M16A4 is generally considered more precise than the AK-47. Factors contributing to the M16A4's accuracy include its higher velocity, 5.56 45mm cartridge, longer sight radius, and lighter recoil, which allow for better control during rapid firing. The AK-47, while reliable, has a heavier 7.6 239mm cartridge and a shorter sight radius, which can result in less accuracy, especially at extended ranges. Regarding ambidextrous controls, the standard M16A-4 does not feature fully ambidextrous controls. Its safety selector and magazine release are primarily designed for right-handed users. However, some modern variants and custom configurations of the M16 platform have been developed with ambidextrous features to accommodate left-handed shooters. The AK-47 also lacks ambidextrous controls, with its safety lever and magazine release favoring right-handed operation. As with the M16, certain modifications and aftermarket parts can provide ambidextrous capabilities for the AK-47. Talking specifically about muzzle device, the M16A4 is typically equipped with a birdcage-style flash suppressor at the muzzle. This device is designed to reduce the visible flash that occurs when the rifle is fired, helping to conceal the shooter's position in low-light conditions and minimize the temporary blinding effect on the shooter. The AK-47, on the other hand, often features a slant-cut muzzle brake. This device primarily serves to counteract muzzle rise during automatic fire, helping to keep the rifle more stable and on target. Additionally, the slant cut design assists in reducing felt recoil by redirecting gases. Coming to the cost, the development costs of the M16A4 and AK-47 are not well documented, making precise figures difficult to ascertain. However, the unit production costs of these rifles are more accessible. As of 2011, the AK-103, a modern variant of the AK-47, was sold by Kalashnikov Concern at a government price of approximately $150 to $160 per unit. In contrast, the M16 rifle had a government price of $673 per new unit in 2012. The M4 carbine, a derivative of the M16, was priced higher, with costs around $700 per unit for a new M4. In summary, the M16A4 and AK-47 represent two different approaches to assault rifle design, reflecting their origins in the Cold War era. The M16A4 excels in accuracy, modularity, and adaptability, making it a preferred choice for precision-based engagements and modern combat needs. On the other hand, the AK-47 is known for its simplicity, reliability, and powerful stopping capability, making it a favorite in rugged environments and high-intensity situations. While the M16A4 is widely adopted by Western nations, the AK-47 dominates in regions where durability and ease of use are critical. Both rifles have left a lasting legacy, symbolizing the technological and strategic differences between their creators. Which assault rifle do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.